Hello friends. Welcome to my new AngularJS tutorial series video. Today, we will learn about AngularJS controllers. Friends. Controllers in AngularJS are JavaScript objects. They control data of AngularJS applications. Their main work is to control data between view and model through scope variable. Scope variable are denoted by dollar $scope. As, controller is a link between view and model. Scope variable is used to communicate information between view and controller. Let's move ahead and see how controllers works in AngularJS. In our previous tutorial we discussed about AngularJS basic directives. We saw working of ng init directive. This directive is used to initialize application data for us. We also saw ng repeat which display the cities and states. Let's run it once again. You can see initialize data gets displayed. For this tutorial, let's copy and paste directives HTML file into site root folder. And rename it to controllers. In controllers.html file, let's code how controllers can be used in AngularJS. Provide title to it as Controllers in AngularJS. Moving ahead. Here, we can see that ng-init directive is used to initialize application data for us. But actually using ng-init to create application data is a bad practice. The data should be created and manipulated by what we call as AngularJS controllers. Here, let's say we copy array of objects initialized by cities variable. The work of ng-init directive will now be handled by controllers. Basically, controllers are written in JavaScript files or in a script element. Let's say in body element, we create a script element. In the script element, let's create a JavaScript function by name, city controller. The city controller function is a standard JavaScript object constructor. This function takes in a parameter as dollar $scope, which we already discussed in previous slides. AngularJS will be responsible to call the city controller by passing in dollar $scope variable. We created a cities variable, holding array of objects in ng-init directive above. Let's see how we create same in city controller. The syntax to create cities variable in city controller is dollar $scope dot cities, where cities will be name of variable holding array of objects, equals Let's copy above data initialized in square brackets and paste it in city controller. Provide a semicolon. Thus, our first controller got created. Here, city controller main logic is to initialize array of object holding cities data for us. Let's move ahead and now remove complete ng init directive from div element. In place of ng init directive now data will be initialized by city controller. In order to inform AngularJS about the controller defined below. There is a directive by name, ng controller. This directive takes in a name of controller to inject. In our case, we provide ng controller to the scope of div element. Also, provide name of controller to it as city controller. Now using dollar $scope variable, view comes to know that there is a cities array defined. We also saw in slides that controller passes information to view through dollar $scope variable. You can also see that only ng init directive got replaced by ng controller directive. Rest of the code remains the same. 
$scope.cities variable can be used throughout div element, because ng controller is applied over div element. You can see, it displays same information, what it displayed through ng in it. Moving ahead. Let's create two more variables in city controller such as dollar scope dot city equals Mumbai and dollar scope dot state equals Maharashtra. In the div element, let's see how controllers binds dollar scope variables to models. We will create a label city along with a text field. Having ng model as city, city value in ng model maps to dollar scope city variable defined in city controller. Similarly, perform same steps for state variable. Thus, $scope.city gets binds to city model. And $scope.state binds to state model. Thus, we saw how controllers initialize application data for us. Moving ahead. Controllers can also have methods, what we call as, JavaScript functions. Let's create a method in controller to see how it works. We use syntax as, $scope, dot, city info, here, City info is the name of method equals as it is a method we have to create a javascript function as function brackets and a method body in the method body let's return back dollar scope dot city comma dollar scope dot state appended to each other thus it is just returning back concatenated value of city with state separated by a comma let's call the city info method in div element let's create a label as city info and between expression syntax call city info method. That's it. As soon as we save the file, you can see on browser that it displays two labels city and state. It populates city and state text field with values what we provided in city controller. It also displays city info with city and state concatenated. Now, if we change city, you can see it gets reflected below in city info. And same goes with state value. Thus, you can see how model and view are binded together by controller. This concept is also called as two-way binding, where change in inner HTML of elements cause corresponding changes in the model. Moving ahead, usually, creating controllers in same HTML file is a bad practice. And ideally, controllers logic should be separated by view. Therefore, in order to avoid this, we create a separate JavaScript file in AngularJS folder. Let's name it as, city controller. Click finish. 
let's copy city controller function and paste it in city controller.js file. Thus, now we can remove the script element completely from HTML file. Now in order to inform, controllers.html page to use city controller. We have to include, city controller.js file to head section of controllers.html. Just drag and drop file source link to head section. Thus, now HTML page can come to know about the city controller, used in ng controller directive. If we save file and go to browser, you can see it works exactly the same way what we saw before. Thus, this was all about how controllers are created and used in AngularJS. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, AngularJS controllers, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.